And lastly, music. Music is the means by which we manage to get into sync. Well, what does that mean? It means that... Um, okay, I'm going to have to do a hand demonstration here. Okay. The man leads. The man is ahead in time. The woman follows. She's behind in time. Okay. Now, it's absolutely critical that the woman follows exactly what the man is doing. Okay. So effectively, when I'm dancing in this close hold, and if you noticed um, Toby, Master Toby, he's always constantly trying different things, just changing, shifting, and so on, just making sure that she's falling exactly. Now you think, I don't want to do a dance. A woman might think, I don't want to do a dance when I'm constantly following. Well, this is with the trick. Now that's the trick, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so the woman is behind, uh, the man is leading. But then at some point, when he's absolutely sure that she's following, and she's paying attention exactly to anything that happens, then he can just follow her. Okay, so he kind of starts following her. Now, she's following him. Yeah, she's following him. I've got this bus to catch. She's following him, and he's following her. Who's leading? Who's following? The music is coming through, originally through the man, and then the woman follows. So the man has the movement, the woman then follows the movement. But then when the man's actually following the woman, then the woman is also picking up the music. And then the distinction between the follower and leader disappears. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what it's all about. And that is where tango occurs, all right? Where two become one. Um, in time. Awareness, consciousness, and all this kind of stuff. Cool. <laughs> so, cool. That's about it, really. Anything else about music that one has to know? The style of music. The style of music with, the, um, with this uh, close hold is a lot tighter, a lot smaller, a lot smaller moves, a lot of little steps and so on and so forth. Trying to do big things is a little harder. Also, the woman has a reluctance to kind of do inside steps. Don't. <laughs> don't take those, uh, don't have any reluctance, just do it. If the, if, if the body looks, feels as if it can just make the step, just do it. Also, you don't have to push against the man. You don't have to create any kind of force whatsoever. It just naturally happens. So, you know, the man's movement occurs, the woman just kind of moves as a consequence. That's how it should be done. Okay, no additions. Don't put any additional bits and bobs. Uh, what are the, um, adornments, please don't do that. Um, it should just all come out of the music. And if the guy does his job and he kind of honours the contract of engagement, the fact that she is so close to him, which is a real honour, really, for any gentleman. Um, and if the man honours that by following her at some stage when she's proven that she is following very closely, it means that he can give up. He can give up leading. And um, he gives himself to her. His attention is on the outside objects, you know, not hitting tables and so on and so forth and, and other people. And her, her part of it is to, is to concentrate on his uh, centre line, uh, on their centre of weight, um, on an internal sense. And actually, it's the woman. It's the woman that is leading. Because, you know, avoiding objects and so on. I mean, it's a klutz's job. It's the guy's job. But um, for a woman to actually avoid, to, to concentrate on the inner movement, that's beautiful. And that's what the guy's listening to. So, so music. And so, therefore, music occurs, movement occurs, and both move as if one. That's tango.